Hi everyone and welcome to my studio today. So once again I'm going to do a colander pour. Now you may have seen a video that I just recently did where I did a colander pour through this colander and it has really uh, long skinny slots. The colander painting ended up looking like this. Let me hold it up for you which is beautiful. However, it was not an effect that I thought I wanted, but I think it ended up being a beautiful painting. And in another video, I did a colander pour through this colander, one with big holes. And it turned out beautifully also. I think this one's on my Etsy shop right now, so look for that. However, I got this kind of a design on it because there are only four peg holes for the stand on the bottom of this colander. So what I've done is I've drilled out more slots in our bottom of the colander so more paint can escape. So I'm going to try it one more time with a rainbow of colors and we'll see how that works out. I'll show you the bottom of the colander up close once we get down to our canvas. Thanks. So the other thing I want to point out to you is I did this colander pour with these little slots on a large 18 by 18 square canvas. Again, it went out from the middle just nicely. There were no holes straight through the bottom. So I got a little bit of a muddy effect here, which I um, fixed with a balloon kiss but I actually might kiss it one more time later with some whites. And the, like I said, this one, we got this kind of a pattern, even though it was on a rectangular canvas, because this col colander had four holes on its base. Now what I did is I actually left those four holes there, but I have added and drilled out a couple extra holes if you can see on the it's, I know it might be hard to see on the video but all right so we're gonna work on a rainbow pour and this time I'm going to do it on a round canvas all right let me mix up my paints and I'll be right back with you all right so I wanted to share with you that I began mixing my paints up with just this Liquitex only. One half paint, one half Liquitex. And I will tell you that my paint is just getting thicker instead of better. So I'm going to use the Liquitex mixed with, um, I believe some water because I can't use my paint when it's this thick. All right, so in addition, um, the other problem I had using this Liquitex pouring medium was it was creating skins on the bottom of my paint cups or on the side. So you see that big chunk? So what I will have to do before I can use this as a colander pour is I will have to strain it. So you can get strainers like this from your auto or your paint store. Um, but in order to use these paints, I actually have to get some of that skin out of there. So evidently the Li Liquitex does not like craft paint. So if you're doing this process at home, use 70% glue all, 30% water, mix it with your craft paints, it works just fine. But I wanted to try this product because I had purchased it thinking it would give me a better um, result. But evidently it's going to be difficult to mix with my craft. All right. Not almost all of it. All right, so last minute check to make sure my canvas is still level. I'm going to prepare my canvas with just white mixed with Liquitex water and I did add some Elmer's glue all to help reduce the skins that I was getting in my paints. That was very disappointing. And I'm just spreading some of this on. This is just to help 
my paint flow. I will certainly have enough paint for this canvas. However, I want to make sure that it flows on the paint and not sticking on my canvas. Just because I've had enough um, concerns with this Liquitex and Craft Paint Mix already, I don't want to have additional problems with it. So, All right, hold on. I have some canvas coming through right there. Don't want that to be where my paint gets stuck. All right. Now I'm not going to be using all of this paint for sure. I did want it for another painting that I'm doing here in just a few minutes. I'm going to set my colander right there in the center. All right, so I do apologize you didn't get to see me stack the cups. I'm still spending a good bit of time sending some of my colors through a filter. So that's all right. So I did stack my cup by pouring each color down the side in... Um, the order of red, green, blue, purple, and violet, and then I kind of mixed it up after that. But I'm just going to pour this in a, in a ring around the middle, and we're going to go from there. Now, hold on. Let me make sure my camera's in the right angle here. And like I said, I won't need all this paint. I'm going to use some of it in this same cup for a different pour that's coming out. Like I'm really trying to go for a kaleidoscope pour, multiple colors. A lot of that purple's coming out on top here. Let's see if we can get a different color to come out. Oh, yeah. There we go. I still see some chunks coming out of my blue, sadly. Now I'm hoping that those extra little legs that I gave my colander will help this process. Oh, it's looking good coming out. There's some more of that purple. So as I said, I was, oh, I'm going to go ahead and use it all. I was very disappointed in the way that Liquitex came up. You can see it's even kind of coagulating in my cup. Not sure I like that. Let me get the last bit of paints here. definitely a rainbow coming out there. All right, so I'm going to lift, slowly lift. Oh, I'm going to first get paper towels to put my colander on when it comes off. Got a couple waiting, but I'm going to make sure I've got them all. All right, let's do the lift. Slow lift. Should be some nice rainbow colors in the middle. Oh my, lots and lots of air. Let me get my torch. Get rid of that bubble. Wonderful. No, I did not even have any white, but it must have been resting on white right there. Wonderful. So I can see some of my legs let out. 
my paint's a little faster than others, that's okay. This is going to be a lot of paint left to dry on this canvas because I'm not going to tilt it all off. Wow. I think I'm really pleased with how that's coming up. Lots of air. Even though I pulled it up really slowly, it did give me some air bubbles. Okay. Now, there's no silicone in any of this paint. Just let me let you see the bottom of this colander. Not that it matters any, but isn't that cute? All right, so I see it's going this way a little bit already. Let me get that paint kind of loose. And I don't want to go in a circle because I do want to keep these legs straight. If I go in a circle, it'll twist them. So I'm going to go slowly to each edge. And I'm going to keep bringing it back to the center. I do want to keep this pattern in the middle. Some of these are almost like peacock feathers looking. I'm wondering if the flow out some of these was restricted by chunks. That could be too. Got a glob of white there. I'm not sure what these little white things were that came up probably where the legs had stood um, on the white on the bottom but that is all right it still turned out fabulous I just can't believe the colors I thought there was a lot of purple coming out but it all sank to the bottom for some reason so everything but purple well there's a little bit of purple showing but not a lot isn't that fabulous? Look at those little fireworks in the middle. Oh, let me get you. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs>